Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, I'm just sharing right now, because a lot of times people want to know why we believe in Christ, why we have given our heart to Him, why we follow God's ways. They want to know that it's more than pomp and circumstance, more than lighting candles and 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 reading liturgy and and singing songs and clapping and eating and 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 giving our money in the offering plate. They want to know it's more than that. Now, I know there are some of you, and, and there are some people who literally use the church as a good luck charm. I know that. They use the Bible as a good luck charm. They use God as a good luck charm. And that is not what that's about. When you get to know God, it's not a play thing. It's not something that you toy with. It's not something that you, you're in today, you're out tomorrow, you're on today, you're off tomorrow, you love today, you hate tomorrow, you're righteous today, you're sinful tomorrow, you do what you want to do when you're good and, when you well, good and pleased. Whatever you want to do, when you want to do it, you, no, it doesn't work like that. So what happens is when we use God, the church, the Bible, blah, 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 as a, as a good luck charm, as a badge of good standing. It actually works the reverse in many people's lives. People are looking for authenticity. People are looking for genuineness. People are looking for love. The Bible says they will know you by your love, by the love you show for one another. Loose paraphrase. Now, if you're hateful, if you're prudish, if you're uptight and grumpy, there is no way anybody's going to want your God. They're just not. I'm sorry, but they're not. When you are filled with God, when you have a closeness with God, a close relationship with God, something comes on you called humility, where people use the term unassuming. Yeah, that seems to start covering you. Then they notice that you're loving, you're more caring, you're more considerate, you're more thoughtful of others. Oh my, where did that come from? Okay, then they notice you're more at peace. You're not getting so upset. You don't flare up as much as you used to. Wow, what happened to you? You're drinking, you're high on something, what's up? Okay, now people see this. The world is looking for Love. They're looking for real life. They're looking for peace. Substance. Something that really means something. You can't talk about, well, you don't want to go to hell, do you? Well, you should go to church and you should get right with God. And that's it? That's like telling a gigolo you should get a job and earn your own money. Right. You might as well be talking hogwash. You, when you talk to people, this is your little witness one-on-one. -on -one. When you witness to people, when you try to encourage your family members to come close to God, to get to know Jesus for themselves, you have to come at their level. If they're dealing with turmoil and torment and they have had a life of struggle, you have to share the difference God makes in that. If a person has been raped and abused, molested, shamed from day one that they can remember, you have to show them how God can turn that thing around and how he can clean them up and take away their shame and heal the hurt and enable them to forgive. You've got to deal with them where they are. It's not just about, well, I love Jesus. He loves me. I love you. And so does he. It 
It's not a nursery rhyme. Jesus, listen, when the Bible says Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. I mean, that's a song, but the Bible says Jesus paid it all, which he did. The price he paid is so humongous, we can't even fathom it in our little pea brains. But when he paid that price, he committed to getting his hands dirty, cleaning us up. He committed to being with us, helping us, reassuring us, helping us get to know who we are when many of us don't even have a clue. He has committed to counseling us, to opening our eyes and showing us things we never saw before, giving us dignity, confidence, strength. When, you know, God, he can find, the Bible says he takes the base things of this world to confound the wise. You're looking at a base thing. God uses me to confound people who looked down on me all my life. Now that's not an ego trip because I didn't do this. God did. The love I have, God gave it to me. The confidence I have, God gave it to me through his healing. There is so much God does in our lives. When we're hurting, when we're crying, when we're lonely, God shows up. He is not a far away, distant, always on the road, traveling father. He is a very present father. And we have to find ways to explain how God really... <coughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I get worked up, <clears throat> get a little ahead of myself. Calm down. Okay. Sometimes we have to find more creative ways. We've got to ask God to help us to show the world who you really are, Lord. To show the world that your love is so real. That your love is life-giving. That it's healing. That it's pain-removing. That it's... Oh, it, we have got to ask God to teach us how to introduce him to the world. Make his name famous. Not make him a drudgery, a taskmaster with a belt in one hand and a Bible in the other. God knows how to correct his children. But he doesn't browbeat us, you guys. He tells it like it is. And loves us through the transition. Okay. I have said my piece. And uh, we've got to ask God to really make us true, genuine beacons of light. Genuine beacons of light. If you don't know what you're talking about, keep your mouth shut. If you've never met God, don't try to introduce anybody else to him. Because you can't lead him to something you've never been to. You can't expose something you've never seen. You can't explain something you don't understand. I'm getting on a roll. Let me stop. <laughs> God bless you. Think on that. Ask God to manifest himself to you so that he really becomes real and stops being a religion and a good luck charm.